Hey, hey, we are live. We haven't done this for a while. I've actually got this fancy little, uh, I don't even know what you call it. It's a tripody thing that is also like helps me hold the camera. Oh, look at me. I'm going all sunglassy now. <laughs> but we finally, we finally, uh, let's see if we'll show a little bit of the blue sky. Our rain is gone for today. Uh, I don't, I think it's supposed to come back tonight and through tomorrow and then we're supposed to have a really nice super bowl weekend it's not really a gimbal because it doesn't it doesn't like adjust anything um it's just a thing so i'm going to turn my camera around we are going to go into dog junkies but i wanted to start out here so you guys can see where i'm at dog junkies is a little independent thrift store here in las vegas located oh i always forget the address 4324 uh, North Decatur Boulevard at the intersection of Craig and Decatur. And they support the nonprofit that is called A Home Four Spot, which is the number four. A home. I'm, I'm looking to see if I see it anywhere. We'll see it when we get inside, I'm sure. Uh, and what A Home for Spot does, they are a dog rescue, but their focus is on dogs that are slated for euthanasia abandoned dogs that have medical problems i think they have they i forget what the number is they've, they've thousands and thousands and thousands of dogs that they have saved that otherwise would be euthanized so um they do some really incredible work i i think somebody's cat walked across the keyboard there i'm watching the chat as much as i can guys um and i was just seeing <laughs> simone what happened there <laughs> my goodness oops that had an oh, oh there it is yeah uh a home for spot.com thank you so much melissa for posting that so they get some incredibly good donations and we have fun shopping here and today will be no different i'm sure so let me get my little camera turned around here so that we can go inside. Oops, no, that wrong button, Danny. See what happens when I do this all myself? Stand by. And there we go. I think that is the correct one. Ha ha, here we are. We're going in. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Oh my gosh, my sunglasses are all sunglassy. <laughs> so I'll give you a little overview of the store first. And then I think we're going to hit the jewelry. We always hit the jewelry last. And this time I'm going to hit the jewelry first. And that's because I see my friend Dawn of Hudson Vintage in the house. And as you guys know, she is a jewelry expert collector she can help us she can help tell us what things are and she might want to buy a few things so there is that so we're going to come back to all of this i promise but we're going to go over and we're going to hit we're going to hit some jewelry first and if there's anything you guys want me to look at closer just say the word and i'm going to try try to keep an eye on the chat. Oh, and for those that are interested, Dawn actually has an incredible sale she's doing at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So <laughs> they're tracking me down. <laughs> um, 7 p.m. Eastern. Oh, look at that little that little palette pin. How cute is that? I'm her neighbor. Oh yeah, this is They are open for business, guys. Oh, the Jenny jar. Okay, that's you. Hello. Oh, look at that butterfly. Looks like it's probably sterling. Did you have 20 on that one? But see, that's what I love about Dawn. She can tell me what I can pay 20 for and sell for 60. <laughs> Which is the name of the game. Big disc hanging from the black. It is shell. Uh, and then it's black beads. They're asking 14 on that piece. Is this open? Let's see if this is. No, but they can open it for us if we need be. Here we go. A little better view of it. Down here on Ann. 
I think I have one actually just like that. I, I'm finding them uh, more and more often now. And I don't know if it's just because I've sold them in the past and been kind of focused. Oh, look at this pin. Do you see this one right here? Are those moonstone? That is a really, oh, they're calling it a fur clip. So it's not a pin, it's a fur clip. That is pretty, okay. Can we? I'm going to look around. Can we get in the case? Okay, they're going to let us in the case and we can look a little bit closer at a couple of these pieces. And then there's also cases over here too. Like that cuff. Fostering? Goodness. Oh, that's pretty. I think that's a little rosary box actually. Oh, thank you. A little sterling silver and marcasite fish. He's sweet. I know Dawn's excited. <laughs> As I said, I'll I'll hit this first before you have to go and get ready for your own sale. Okay, come here. Let's get over here. All right, let's look at this one closer. Are those moonstones? Yeah, see, it is a clip. That's a really sweet piece. No, we are at Dog Junkies. They are asking 60 on that one. Or was that one not? There was dogs. I remember seeing dogs. I don't think I can pay. I don't think I can pay 60 on. In here. That's a pretty piece too. I'm not sure. Is it a pen? Oh, it's a pendant. Look at that pendant. It's just rhinestones. That one's 14. Hmm. Vintage 4K pin. Oh, you're talking about Hudson Vintage. Yeah, she gets some incredible stuff. Incredible, incredible stuff. I need you to know if I, what, if I can pay these prices. Because I don't know. Like, I don't know. This is, like, really pretty. But I just, I can't get the prices you can get for jewelry. That's for sure. That's because you have a very strong niche. Well, that's newer. See, I know that's newer just by that back. That's the stuff that I'm really learning is how to tell the the age that one is interesting, but it's missing a bunch of stones. <laughs> a little double tiger ring. I know. We all need Dawn. She should not say that. I don't care how much I'll learn. She'll always be ahead of me on the learning. So there. Okay, let's see. This one's 20. What kind of stones are those? And they research their stuff pretty darn good too. Like they're calling this blue tiger's eye, freshwater pearls, and lapis and pyrite for 20. They had marked it down. See, they do that here too. If you come in here and something's a little high, number one, you can make them offers. And number two, they do markdowns. They want to sell stuff. That's their goal. Their goal is not to hold on to it like a museum piece. They want to sell it. Should, there's a lag here. So I don't know if you're saying yes to this piece. 20 on this one. I'm going to hold it here for the lag and, and make sure this is the one you want me to get. Because I trust you. Oh, it's got a little doggy on it. Look at the little doggy on this one. Yes, to bracelet. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that just that just made it like a, a deal maker right there. Oh, the butterfly. Let me check the butterfly. Okay, let me set this. No, I don't want to set here. I'm gonna hand it to her when she comes back by. Yeah, I do like I like this butterfly with the apple. Oh, oh, the back is quite nice. What do we got? We've got Hmm, let me see. I gotta I gotta hold it up to my face here, guys. 
Okay. I thought it might say 925, but it doesn't. It's just like some lines. Or maybe, are you guys seeing something I'm not seeing there? I'm not sure. It doesn't have a price. We'd have to get a price on that one. But I do like that. I'm going to ask about price on that one. Oh, I like this piece too. What is this? What is this? This is eight dollars. I feel like I feel like this might be something good. It's really interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to put this one in my pile too. I like I like this. It's it's sparking some joy in me. It's not like a traditional tiger's eye, though. But would that be considered tiger's eye? I don't know. Maybe it is. Okay. I'm going to put those pieces in the pile. I saw this one, too. It's got like a copper butterfly. Oh, it's a clip. And it says, oh, goodness gracious. What does that say? Can anybody read that? I'm going to hold it here focused for a moment and see if anybody knows what that says. Mm. Got to wait for the lag. Yeah, I got the tiger's eye. Okay, you guys are saying tiger's eye. I got it in my hand. Jessica Simpson. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't excite me. I don't know. Should it? <laughs> This one is 15 and he is so cute. So cute. I'm trying to avoid buying just a lot of cute. 20 on that one. This one is 10. Oh, he's got a little articulated tail. That is adorable. All right. All right, let me go put these over in my pile. That I haven't started yet, but these are going to start the pile. And we'll look in the other case, too. Sylvain DR. Hmm. I'm, getting, I'm getting a couple of responses to say Jessica Simpson. And now that I look at it, that's probably, I don't know. It's probably accurate. I know that this one is 20. Here. See, that doesn't look as old to me, and it's enameled. Okay. All right. Let me close this one and go over to the other jewelry case. Oh, wait. What's this? Those. Okay. I've got to get my hand empty. Stand by. I'm going to put a little pile of stuff right here. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, let's look. Got my hand. Got my hand again. Oh, I just stabbed my hand. What is going on here? Those look like like little Swarovskis. Oh, it's made in Austria. Oh, look at that. It is. It is. Okay. It's $20. Yes, yeah, Swarovski grapes. For 20 that is really cool. I do like that one. But I know, but i am got to be a little frugal today. Is it? Like, how good? <laughs> like, I mean, when you say good price, like, you know me, I like to, I like to try to have a very healthy, margin yeah it's got all its original paperwork and its box you think i should get that i trust your judgment get it okay get it your guys are telling me to get it i'll get it gina i got a little pile started over here just and it's jewelry, so I don't want to just leave it. Thank you. What is that? Oh, let's see that. Can I just come around there and you betcha. You know look at the goodies? 
Look, and these are two dollars each. There's some pretty bracelets here. Okay. All right. Let's just come over here and dig into the the fun case. This is a Schmidt vintage perfume bottle with frosted glass butterflies. It is twenty five. There's a little Schmidt on the bottom. Oh, this girl's still here. She's been. She was here the last time we were here. Well, I forget. I keep forgetting where we said she's from. Too. She's a. She's a logo for something. Hmm. She is pretty amazing. Let me see how much this sterling fishy is. He's thirty-five. He was look at. He was seventy when he was new. It's cool. Let's see. Hmm. I'm watching the chat too at the same time as I'm kind of looking out my other eye. But this is this looks Russian, doesn't she? She looks like a Russian lacquer or maybe. Yep, look at that. Made in Russia. Twenty dollars on that. Yeah. It's got the red interior. She's really beautiful. Really beautiful. And this is this is the little what I thought was a rosary box. Let's see if that's what it says. Crystal. Cross stone box. Forty dollars. Joe Mars first edition. This is what they have researched on this one. It is stone. Oh look, inside there's a little little tag that says Joe Mars first edition. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. These are sweet, too. So many. I, that's what I love about this store. Like, there are so many nice things whoop, that I can drop. <laughs> it's a Z. Okay. Argento Vivo? Who's Argento Vivo? Oh, I mean, in that box. The box feels empty, though. I think. Oh, goodness. Okay, wait. The other thing I have on this little tripod -y thing is the ability to stand it up and set my phone down if I can figure out how to do it. <gasps> I just figured out how to do it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to do this so that <laughs> if I can find a place to set it. Here. Oh, okay. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, no, it wants to fall. My phone is too heavy. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Not the box. Ah, oh, after all that, it's an empty box. Okay. I was afraid of that. I can pick you back up. I just pet the Z. What? What? <laughs> Hold on, let me go back and read what you're seeing. What are the little colored figures? They're like little, little Asian, like, I think they're like a paper mache or clay. No, you know what? They're clay. Little clay Asian dolls. I guess you would call them dolls. Let me see if I missed anything. Oh, thank you, Lynette. You know what? That's what this business is made up of, mostly. You got to know who your customers are. That's that's the key. Okay. Let's go around here. Oh, look. Give me a D. All right. That was fun. Oh, you'll show me? You show me? Oh, they're just pulling this stuff out. Oh, silver that just came in. We're getting a first peek. I really yeah. like this one. That, that looks is, so good on. That is a nice, yeah. You model for us. silver as well. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a nice ring. Yeah, it's nice. really comfortable. And this one, too. Look at these. And this is as well. This one won't go over my knuckles. Oh, those are so nice. And are these they are marked? Bright and beads. 
Brighton beads. Oh yeah, we have that Brighton bag too. I'm sure. Nice. Valentine's Day. It's really cute. Okay, so here's some Oh, these are cool. Yeah. These are cool. Look at these little danglies. I don't know why I like these so much. They are twenty dollars. No, look, look at this. Look at this whole tray. I promise you guys, we're gonna look at stuff that's not jewelry. I promise. We're gonna look at it all. These are little clip-on tiger's eye, surrounded by sterling. Hey, how's it going? These are all oh, all sterling rings. They really do get really nice jewelry in here. Oh, I see something sparkly underneath the tray she was just showing me. Look at all this. Ooh, glare. We got glare. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can undo the glare here. Look down there. I don't know if those are old or new, but those are like, it's almost like a watermelon kind of. Can I see this tray right here? Yes, ma'am. You sure can. That way it's glaring on the glass. And there's some, there's some sparklies in there. This stuff so you can see everything. Oh my, look at these. Like I just, oh, it's a whole, oh, this is the whole thing. Holy moly. <laughs> I was not expecting those to be the whole thing. Look at these. Those are fun. Let's see if they're marked. They are. What do those say on the back? Okay, there's the mark on the back. This has been here. But I don't know. What that says. I'm going to hold it there for a second. Hopefully it is focused and you guys can see. Let me know what I got here. This, I don't know. This, this is like something I... I oh. Are those a yes? <laughs> They're pretty spectacular in person. Oops. Let me not drop them. It is weird. <laughs> oh, tell me if those are a yes. I'll put them in my pile. <laughs> she says yes. Okay. Those are a yes. It's just cute for a little a teenager. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. Yeah, so I'm going to um, graduation. What do you call it? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, these are earrings also. Oh, wait. We got some more of those kind of flashy. Oops, I just knocked it off the thing. Hold on. Are these? Let's see what these say. What does that say? Michelle Sugar? Michelle Sugar. I don't know that one. But those are interesting too. Put them back in the bag. I put it over here. These are like little, little That's clams sad. with rinds, or not clams, um, shells with rhinestones in them. Well, yeah, show those too. Yeah. Okay. We're those. Those are a yes. Thank you. Oh, here's a little. Oh, you got more to show me. And here's a really pretty set. You know, put them on the black. Let's see. They're big. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah those this are. Is, this is. Silver. Those are a little bit heavy, though. I would be. These are. Those are silver. This set, it's a set. Oh, it's a whole set of little, little bows. I know, isn't so adorable. Those are sweet. Somebody it's a graduating a bracelet, little, yeah. earrings, and necklace, all sterling. That's a sweet set. Love it. Ooh, what are those? <laughs> like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Those are really interesting. I think they're, are they supposed to be coasters? They're tiles. I think they're some kind of a Mexican tile. They are, yeah. yeah. And they're. So, um, hold on. Really oh, interesting. They're really, really cool. That's really neat, too. Or a little pottery angel. Oh, that glare. Sorry, guys. It says it on Didn't the, mean to do that. In the back. 12 tiles. Um, they're Mexican. Yeah, they are, but they but they would be great coasters. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. And they're all different, all different scenes. And they still have most of them wrapped up in here. But 
<laughs> that looks like okay. Who am I trying to think here? Um, um, oh gosh, the, uh, what's his name? It's kind of close because Don Quixote. Don Quixote. That's who I'm thinking of. Don Quixote. Was it underneath in the very back? No, it was on the rack. That's what they look like. Oh, those are those are kind of fabulous. Buffums. <gasps> who remembers buffums? Oh, you know, I remember buffums. How long has buffums been closed? That's a that's a flash from the past. Let me tell you. Got on the back there. So it's a hundred hundred dollars for the whole set. Hundred dollars for the whole set. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it is. Those are nice. Buffums. That like wow. I haven't thought of that name in ages. Who remembers Buffums? Come on. <laughs> Let's all reveal our age. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see what other fabulousness we need to pull out, and then we'll go look at some more stuff. Ooh, that's oh, that looks like is that like an Ed Hardy symbol on that cuff? Oh, that like the cuff, right? I think it's just an Ed Hardy, or or is it? I don't know. What am I thinking, guys? It's modern, though. You're pretty good at that stuff. <laughs> I've learned a few things, mostly from my friend Dawn of Hudson Vintage. Gotta tell ya. Conquistadors. Oh, I didn't literally mean you had to tell your age, but I just meant if you know what Buffums is, you're revealing your age. I'm not ashamed to say my age. 57. I am 57. It's kind of that like, okay, I just need to get to 60 because then it's like a pivotal age again. Whereas like in between 55 and 60, it's like, meh, there's nothing special. It's just an age. <laughs> oh, look at this piece that's hanging on one of their displays. I learned this from Dawn too, is like, don't, don't disregard the pieces that are used in the merchandising. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out what. I am not sure if the oh, that's kind of a nice little piece. Oh, look at the clasp. Well, guess what I found. It's got okay. It's got a name. Oh, it's a J Crew. It's a J Crew. Huh? That is. I like that. Like, I think I like the blouse too. I would wear the blouse. I really, actually, I really like the blouse. What size are you? You are small. I can wear some smalls, but a lot of times it's like too tight between the shoulders for me, even though it like everywhere else it's, I know I, it's weird. It's weird that it's, oh my gosh, I really like this blouse though. Oh, is it? Should I get that? I don't know how much it is, but it looks very vintagey too. That is, it's the first, that came in today as well. Yeah. You guys, I really like this blouse. What do you think? I could swing it. I, I like it. Could I swing it? I know. It's yeah. soft and it's got some stretch to it. I think I could pull this one off. You're pretty tiny. Yeah, I was telling him like it's between the shoulders that it gets, gets a little tight for me. Oh, it's a small. Yeah, it's a small. That's like yeah. really cute. That is I like really it. cute. Okay. That would look cute on you. All right, I'm gonna. Because you're tiny. You, I'm you gonna get to this. Put this in my brown pile. Right here, brown legging. Oh yeah, brown oh, legging because it has mm -hmm. pockets too. Which is. Oh cute. my god. Yeah, right. Pockets. You can pull that thing off. Okay. Anything with pockets. Okay, I'm gonna wonderful. I'm gonna strip your. I'll just leave her there for now. But I'm gonna get that. <laughs> they're gonna make they're gonna make me try it on later. There you go. Oh. Look at this. Yeah, those are look awesome. at this light. Oh my gosh, that would look so cool. It's right here, Danny. Oh. Got a little Betsy Johnson action. Okay, she made me a cubby. Here, we'll we'll make her not feel so naked now. Here you go. So <laughs> we don't we don't want a naked mannequin. Come on. 
Balsero. Balsero. That's a nice wallet. I kind of like that wallet. It's bigger than my purse, though. You think it's the color that's drawing me? <laughs> yeah, it's cool looking. Ooh, just fun. Maybe I can find my Mother of the Bride dress wow. here. Because they get lots of really nice clothes, too. Okay, let's go. Let's go that way. I know, I knew you would. I knew you would like that. You know what I left on the table sitting right over here? Ah, oh, I need this. Kind of like this table, too. Oh, my gosh. How fun is he? I'm not sure what his purpose in life is, but he's just, he's just a big old happy pig. Look at these. I think these are, okay, they're made in Thailand. I was going to say they're trying to look like kind of like those pre-Columbian style, but these are actually Asian. One with an elephant, one with a, some kind of a bird. Scented soy candles that are doggy paws. Oh, oh, how sweet those are. I couldn't bring myself to burn them. They're too sweet. Peppermint rope. I can burn candles in my new workspace in the new studio because I don't have any birds or guinea pigs or anything there. Oh, this is one of those um, tequila bottles that is worth a whole bunch of money. Yes, I can burn candles at the studio. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, that fooled me for a minute. If that had been cut glass, that would have had the uh, the thickness to be American Brilliant. But it's a, it's a lookalike. Just trying to look like American Brilliant. Okay. Impressionist masters, paintings from private collections. I love art books. I have a huge collection of books that I'm going to start paring down just because. I mean, this is my year of like paring down, I think. This is my letting things go. This is a like one of those Victorian um, photo albums. We have some fakery here. I always love to look at the furniture and things that are here too. This is a little vanity. That's the mirror on top that would sit along the back. Really cute. All right, that's kind of their. This is like all their better clothing, which. I do want to look through and see if maybe they have something for like a mother of the bride kind of a thing. That's cool. It's on a, it's on a, like a ribbon. All right. Why does the chicken say Normandy? Hmm? I know why. You guys want to know why? <laughs> Should I tell you why? The lag. The lag is such a thing. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because. <laughs> Here, I'm going to take a peek at that chicken. Just because. There's nothing on the bottom. But he says, Normandy. Thank you, <laughs> you encourage me. <laughs> That's pretty stunning. It's 14, once in a lifetime. It is a print. It's They make these prints now with all this texture, so they will definitely fool you into thinking they are paintings, But which is kind of the appeal that they've done for marketing is that, you know, you put that up on your wall, somebody's going to think it's a painting. It's really beautiful. I got to finish. My bird wall got kind of postponed. There's been other more pressing things that I've uh, had to do other than get my bird wall finished, unfortunately, but it's on the list still. It'll get done. My life is all about prioritizing. It's kind of crazy. Okay. 
And look at these bowls that are pretty fancy. Look at that. Gold encrusted. Wowza. Woo. Don't make that noise, Danny. I'm really trying to stay away from sets of things for shipping purposes until I get a new shipping person. I I'm doing it all. I have to try to simplify my life as much as possible. What is that? Oh, it's like a it's like a piano scarf kind of thing. That is very nice. Let's see. Let's go around the corner here. It's a little dark over here, so let me know if it's coming through okay. Oh, okay, this thing just adjusted on me. Hold on. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Okay. It's trying to tilt up, and the whole thing just flopped on me. Got some lamps up there. Got some cute little linens. Owl. What does that say? Owl. Owl. Garnet. Owl. What does that say? Help me out here. It's a very vintage little. It looks South American. Oh, Portugal. Portugal. This one is compliments, suggestions, tips. Oh, that's cute. Little blue and white one. Little poppy print. Gourmet club. That has a very fun apron. What do we got here? Oh, it's a little sequin bird. I'm so drawn to stuff like this. I, I can't even tell you, like, why. It's just... <sighs> can't. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever change. It'll never change. It's, it's the stuff that uh, I grew up with. It sparks joy. Al Algarve? Algarve? Where is that? Is it a city in Portugal? Is that what it is? It must be, right? Look at these pretty bird plates. Who makes you? Roger Tory Peterson. Oh, they are Limoges. That's why. Okay. Georges Boyer. I'm, I think I probably even said that right, right? Georges Boyer, uh, Limoges, France. Roger Tory Peterson is the, that's who the art is of. And there's all different birds, and they are $20 each. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, good. You like it too? Okay. Maybe I should get it. That was, that was two likes for the sequin bird. I mean, he wouldn't be hard to ship, so there is that. I don't know how much he is. We'll have to put him in the pile. It's the Faro District in Portugal. Oh, thank you, Gary. I have friends watching over on Facebook as well as here on YouTube. Yep, they definitely did some remodeling and, and moving things around. It's really very um, boutique-y, upscale feeling now when you shop. It's, it's really pleasant. Oh, how cute is he? You see what he's doing? He is being a naughty dog. <laughs> that's a box. It's a, it's a whole box. Let's see what else we got here. The Algarve is Portugal's southernmost region. Okay. Well, there. We all learned something new today. Isn't that the way it... it the, I don't, you know, I watch other YouTubers and stuff, and I always try to learn something. Like, take something away, learn something. You know, it's fun. We never stop learning. Oh, oh, be still my heart. 
Be still, my heart. Look at these shades. <gasps> oh, I have a little little lamp that needs some shades, but I don't think these will work. I think these are too wide. That's too bad because I absolutely love those. They're ten dollars each, so a little much for me to spend and not be sure that they're gonna work for what I need them to work for. So, okay, this pattern down here, you guys. Let me pick one up and show you. See if it'll come through. This. Let's see. Let's get a. Some more subtle. Oh, I can't really find a solid background here. I want you to see the little bamboo on here. This is Noritake bamboo pattern. Very, very, very desirable. If you are in Las Vegas locally and you don't mind dealing with glassware like this, they will make you a steal of a deal on this um, because they need the space back. And there are multiple, multiple pieces. And this is a really good seller. Go ahead, look it up on eBay. Right now, go look at Noritake bamboo glassware. Boom. Really good pattern. And it's here at Dog Junkies. It is more open. Yes. And yet, there's so much stuff. There's so, so, so much stuff. Door secret. And we got more clothes, more shoes. Guinness clock. And I try to show you guys a little bit of everything because I know there's a lot of local people also, you know, watching these that will then come in and buy something that may not have been something that sparks joy in me, but it sparks joy in somebody else. So that's why I try to show you a little bit of everything. That's a cute purse. It's very soft too. Who makes you? Um, Dawn and I are doing an accessories sale over on the Knit Shopping Network on Friday. I think we're Friday. Yes, Friday. Friday. We're doing it Friday. I I am oh I am emotio emoshi oh I don't know something USA. What's going on? Anybody know that brand? They don't have like a scheduled discount day. You get on their list of, you know, and their social media and stuff, they pop up. They'll pop up and say, hey, today's 50% off. And then they just, uh, they just run it. They run a sale when they need space. If they get like a big donation in and they need to clear some space, they will run a big sale. So you just, you got to be following them. You got to be watching. That's kind of a cute purse too. Get back on the hook there so I can open you. Look at it. It's all, um, what is that? What's that fabric? I want to say rattan and not rattan. Like, is it not rattan? It's softer than rattan, but it's kind of on that order. It's kind of cool. Raw silk. Raw silk? It is in Vegas. Yes. Um, I said the address at the beginning. It's on Decatur Boulevard at Craig Road. North Decatur at Craig. Bright yellow building. Bright, bright yellow building. Love the fringe. Love the fringe. O and A. See, I don't even know these purse brands anymore. I've never been a purse girl. I'll never be a purse girl. I wear a backpack <laughs> and I've had that same one for uh, several years now yeah and it's a great place like if if you were thinking of donating some goods here in Vegas and you're thinking of going to you know the big corporate stores don't do that bring the good stuff to the dog junkies because every penny goes back into the doggies it's a sweet little heart Hand painted. Maybe I'm a shoe girl. I don't know. I like shoes. But I'm also the kind that I get a comfortable pair of shoes and I wear them day in and day out. Like, 
you always see me in like the same pair. These are really, really sparkling nice. So I was looking for a name on them, but I don't see a name. Candlewick. See, 18 for the set. Oleg Cassini, maybe. Hmm, that's a definitely a strong possibility. Royals. Oh, look, look more Clarice Cliff. Uh, Royal Staffordshire. Huh. This is. Yep. That same Tonquin that I bought the other day. I really need to list that out. Ooh, that that's didn't me. sound good. That was me. I didn't pay attention. We've all done it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Trust me. It's better than my head like it was the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it in there? Um, I don't know. No, I don't want I'm reading, I'm reading Laura M's uh, comment about, you should consider taking a couple of the purses you bought to the wedding. They were flat enough to pack. You cannot take a backpack to the wedding functions. Oh, I probably won't take anything to the wedding function. I'll probably just tuck it in whatever Jordan, wherever she puts her stuff. I don't know. This whole wedding planning thing is stressing me out. It really is. I'm like, uh, I can't plan for October. I don't know what's going to be happening in October. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they decided whether it was being October or November. The date hasn't officially been set, but it's going to be in the fall. Franco Sarto. It's kind of nice. You have a great white beaded kiss lock purse that is circa 1960. I don't know what kiss lock is, so I'm looking forward to learning what kiss lock is. I'm more into dragon feet. <laughs> this is actually the foot to probably a chair or a desk, or and there would have been multiples. How cool would it be? Would it be to have all of this ball and claw? Is what this is called, ball and claw, and uh, pretty fabulous. Look at just I love the rust. See, that's how you know something is truly old. Look at yeah, look at the the wear over years and the natural patina. That's what we call it. Okay. How about yeah, I'm. I, she's she's digging it though. She's having a blast because it's what she does. She sent me like, oh my gosh, she sent me like the whole outline of everything, and I have to fill out this questionnaire, and and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's too much for my brain right now. I yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be that problem mother. I'm sure. Just just tell me where to show up. Where do I go? What do I do? Just tell me. And I'll be there. Our biggest thing is going to be figuring out who's going to take care of the pets while we go to the wedding. First world problems. Those are cute. Oh, it would be a good Halloween decoration. You're right. You are right. Clear glass. I do love this drape pattern. I found my punch bowl that's in the Lincoln drape pattern, and I'm, oh, I'm torn. Sell, sell, keep, sell, keep, sell, keep. I love punch bowls. Oh, look at him. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. It is so Jordan. I know. Nope. Oh, I thought you put them out. Nope. No, no worries. She thought I had to talk about it. But if you're going up the next time you go up front, if you could take that from me. <laughs> I'm gonna give her I'm gonna give her the bird. <laughs> I gave her the bird. 
<laughs> Ooh, do you guys see the stool under here? Look at this tufted. It's almost like a chenille uh, on this really cool. Look at, oh, let me get down here and show you the feet on this one. Look at these old casters. Oh, I love this. I love this stool so much. I forget what style this is. It's a, hmm. see, this is what I want to do. I really want to learn more about antique furniture um, because you can look at these details and the legs and the way it's put together and know exactly what time period it was all done and all of that. Oh, I do really, really like this. Oh. You know what I'm going to do, guys? Okay. Okay. Stand by. I'm going to try to take a peek underneath here. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if we can do this. I'm going to have to watch my own replay to see what it looks like. But there you go. You guys are seeing something that I'm not because. Okay. Tell me what you saw because, because I just stuck the camera under there. I don't know what you saw. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys could just. Just yeah, tell me. me tell me what you saw. Boy, that's an old weight. I thought it was a bell for a second, but it's not. It's a weight. Darn. Oh, that's cute. That is very cute. Um, just a minute. Rough finished wood. Nothing but black. Okay. East Lake style? I could see that. It's not... Yeah, I could see a little influence of East Lake in there, but not completely. That was covered in no black. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I do not have my black light on me. I, that one looks like it glows. This one, I don't think it does. Dominican Republic. Hi, girl. Ooh. These are pretty ornaments. Long glass. A lot of people use these just all year round decorations. That's why I'm giving them a peek. They don't have prices on them. I feel like I want these though. I feel like I'm going to put these up in my pile and find out how much they are because I do like them. All right, let me. I have no more hands, so I have to take these up here. Okay, how would you give it to I just told him to give me what he wanted. These guys need a price, and I will take them. Okay. You know, unless they price them at like $100. <laughs> These are little salts. Little salts. Now, something that's interesting, or at least I found it interesting, I had a young lady uh, working with me yesterday. And she found some salts in my inventory and she came out and said, may I buy these? And I'm like, really? You like those? She goes, yes. And she's in her twenties. So the young, the youngsters, they, they like things like this. These also are not priced. I should find out how much the little salts are as well. Right. You guys think I should buy the salts? There's only five of them. I'll let you guys help me decide if I should pick those salts up. Longer burger picnic basket? Where? Where did you see a longer burger picnic basket? I, my longer burger stuff just does not, does not move. These are really fun feather masks. Oh, they're pure ones. Pure ones. Been her. Oh, it's still in there. It's not just the box. It's actually the spice is he's still in there. That's fun. Yes on the salts. Get a price on the salts. Okay. All right. I got them. Let's go walk them back up here. I really like to find all your things that aren't priced. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Party. It was like, yeah, I saw it. So I don't know where to put this. Oh, it's all just, just my thing to my kids. Oh, perfect. I don't even know how to. Open. 
Oh, those are nice. They're nice glasses. They're two dollars each. They look very Scandinavian. I was just listening to George the Antique Nomad was talking about these plates and the history, and I'm trying to remember what he said about it. Um, there was some years, it, it, yeah, the, the Bing and Grundle. There were some years that um, something about the product. I wish I could. I wish I could relate it. It was such fascinating information. It was on his most recent video. Um, like yesterday, I want to say, or the day before yesterday, two days ago, gosh, I'm losing track of days, but uh, go back and watch. Like he gives such fascinating information and history about things. That's what I love about George is, uh, he just, he doesn't just tell you what it is. He tells you why it is. Oh, they do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that real Scandinavian. And actually, that vase hasn't sold yet. Can you believe that? I still got it. Oh. Copper lion. No, I'm buying them. <laughs> I just happen to always find the stuff that you don't have price. Oh, no, that's not This box over here, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm the box. Aww. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Zebra. Oh, hello, Evelyn from Nova Scotia. Yes, his history lessons are phenomenal. And I have had the amazing, amazing uh, blessing of actually going shopping with him and it was hard for me to like concentrate on turning my camera on and making a video because all I wanted to do was just listen to him. Oh, that's a really pretty transferware vase for 16. Really nice. Let's see, oh, we were already back here. Let me get, where have I not been? Oh, I haven't been up at the front here yet. Hi, Nancy. We got milk glass. We got lots of milk glass. We got a Fostoria dolphin compote back there for 50. That's really a pretty piece. I'm actually really drooling over that piece right there. Oof, that is beautiful. Look at the zebras. Oh, 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 right. Ever since the scavenger hunt when I couldn't find a zebra to save my life. And now, yeah, zebras, zebras galore. We got to do that scavenger hunt thing again. I have been talking um, with Picker Road about starting that. Starting that up, doing that again, because that was that was super fun. It was a super fun day. I do want to do my uh, 18 Goodwills in one day thing, too. That's kind of like my little challenge I'm on, trying to figure out how I could coordinate and make that happen. Look at that dusky blue. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. Ten bucks. Okay. I think that one's coming with me. Can you guys see like the, the kind of that smoky, dusky blue? So mid-century. Let's get that. Oh, is that Nambe? Walked right by the first time. Nope, nope, it is not. All right, let's go up here. We haven't been up here. Oh, look at this really, really beautiful curio. Wow, China Hutch. Look at, oh, just the, I'm just admiring like the, just the glow of the glass. Look how great that displays. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And you have some depression glass up here. It's got a diamond optic pattern. That would be, if, if you were looking this up, trying to find who made it, you would put in diamond optic. Pink depression glass. 
If anybody can figure that out, I'd love to know. Oh, I don't know. There we go. Didn't want to just yank in the middle. Look at these. These are very, very heavy. Oh, these are kind of like that um, Tiffin glass in the Franciscan pattern. It's got that same kind of weight and feel, but it's not the same pattern. This has like leaves, leaves, leaf. Did I say leaves? No, leaves going up. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if they're selling the white china cabinet. Is the white china cabinet for no. sale? No. Yeah, it displays beautifully. Hello. We got some green. We got some more. Uh, I think that's a Westmoreland pattern. If I'm not mistaken. That's called Diamond Point. Indiana makes that one. See what else we got hiding in here. Ooh la la. All the pink is in here. These look like little Bristol glass. Oh, Bristol. Small little vases. Very nice. Very nice. I saw these when I first walked in and they caught my attention. Look at these. Why do I like these so much? There's one, two, three, four, there's five, six of them. And they've got like this speckly finish. And I don't know if they're just made to look old or if they truly are old. Pink. Oh, the pink placemats. I have a feeling those aren't for sale either. But I will ask. Yes. <laughs> for sure. What do you guys think of these? Should I pick? They're all, all a little bit different shape. They're not. They're, so they're like. They're hand blown. They've got a pontal. And they're all just a little bit different. Which also tells me. You know. They're not. Um, pressed or mass well they might be I mean they could be mass produced but you know what I'm saying like they're not all identical boom 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 I really kind of like them and the thing is because they're not the same is I would have to list each one individually not just do a quantity listing they're vases they're vases they're just like little Kind of uh, abstract, free-form glass vases. But I'm drawn to them. I'm really, really drawn to them. I could sell them in pairs, too. Oh, I could do that, couldn't I? I could sell them in pairs. Hmm. I'm leaning towards them. I'm leaning towards them. Look at this pink Incole plate. Oh, is that like Romeo and Juliet? It is Romeo and Juliet. Speak again, bright angel. You know the pink glasses. I know I'm in Dawn's, Dawn's color palette right now. <laughs> those are fun little glasses. I think I will get those. I really, you know, when my brain sits there and... I got, I got one no to the base. They're organic style. Oh, yes, organic style. I like that. Yeah, when something is <clears throat> really pulling at me that strongly, I feel like it's a, uh, you need to, you need to get those. So I am going to take all these over here. Let's get, uh, and I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. If I'm going to take one, I'm going to take six. There's doggies crying in the back. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear them. Okay, look at that. No casualties. I got all six of them over here, one-handed. Boom. Diddy boom. All right. 
Hey, oh, what's hiding down here? Oh, those are plastic, I think. No, they're glass. Those are glass. Those are wine glasses. Oh my goodness, Don, are you seeing this? <laughs> are you seeing this? There's like red wine and white wine glasses in this hot pink. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen, I've seen them in plastic. I've never seen them in glass. That was, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> Didn't expect that. That's cute. For 18. Who makes you? Can't see anything. About who makes that? Yeah. What is this? Is that like a a pepper mill? But how does it work? Is that twist? I don't know how this works, guys. I don't. I'm not a gourmet. It's interesting, though. Yes, Hudson Vintage does her. Jewelry auction at 4 p.m. Pacific, and uh, that's 7 p.m. Eastern. And you can learn a lot by going over to her sales and hearing her talk about these pieces that she's selling and learning about them and seeing what they sell for. It's pretty incredible. Oh, look at all the little, little mice. And there's the cat. The mice are following the cat all around the vase but it's not signed unfortunately that's so cute we've got some ray done up there that's pretty something phoenix t f and s Made in England. How gorgeous is that? For eight dollars. What do you guys think of that? Should I pick that up? Oh, you think you guys think I should get all the glasses and send them to Dawn? <laughs> and it's a medical risk, so, so it goes through the Just not a gourmet chef. I got you. Let me look back in my chat, see what I missed. A spice grinder. I don't know, Don. Do you have a place for hot pink glasses? Oh, okay. I'm going to set that down for a second while I wait and see if you tell me yes. It's just a sweet little toothpick, but it's got a little bit of damage on the on the leaves. So. You have space for one. See, this is the thing I've learned <clears throat> about my friends who are also resellers is we all tend to get a lot of stuff. And as much as we would like things, sometimes getting gifts that uh, we don't have space for can be a little distressing. Ooh, I wish that had the saucer. Ooh, how I wish that had the saucer. And I'm not picking up anything else to make my little assemblage projects just yet. Although that is on my list. Spring is around the corner and it's going to be warm enough to work in my patio. So that's coming soon. What is this? $10. That is fascinating. This is, this is really fascinating. I got to tell you, this is old. Um, goodness. It's made this way. It's made with this little couple inside of this shell. Oh, my. And it looks German to me just by the, the painting on their face. I'll hold this still. I do believe this is like an early 1900s piece um, before they mandated that things had to be marked with their country of origin because it's got no marks. Unless the mark is... Well, there is a mark. I take that back. 
There's a little mark under there. Oh, I think this is really old and really fabulous. I think I'm going to get this. I think I'm going to get this. Sandra, what are you saying no to? Everybody wants the pink glasses. Here's the problem with the pink glasses, guys. Very intense to ship those. Very intense. And I honestly am getting a little behind in my shipping. <laughs> so I'm hesitant to pick up something like that. See what this is. No. Okay. Oh, you think Villaroy and Bach? Maybe. Should be pretty easy to uh, Google image that one, right? It's pretty cool. All right. Let's look in here. We got a lot of Waterford. I like that green glass right there, actually. That's a cool piece. We got oh this is, oh, okay. Let me get this out of my hand. Let me get this out of my hand here so I can okay. put him in my pile. Try to make you guys not dizzy by putting something as the focus when I'm turning around. What's in the Waterford box? It's a candle holder. Here it is. Uh, this is what I wanted to see a little closer though. Indiana glass, it appears to be. It is 20. Does not glow. I can tell already this is not the color that glows, but it's a cool piece nonetheless. Just not for us. Let's see, I wanted to see this pottery down here. Italian. TDL. Okay. That one is 20. Look at the drips on this. That's cool. It's got an interesting, it's not round. It's kind of a diamond shape top. It says, oh goodness, I don't know. Let's see. Let me see if I can get where the shadow isn't in it. There we go. Can you guys read anything there? What am I looking at? Can we decipher? What is pieces? Ah, uh, thank you, Vegas Mama. Yeah. Oh, put you down. This piece is a more generic piece. Hold on, I gotta scroll back up to my comments, see what you guys are saying. Oh, Laura Roy, that's a great, that's a great idea. <laughs> they have a lot of Waterford here. Yes. This piece is calling my attention with its little blueness. Looks a little bit crude in its construction. I think this is probably like a student piece. You can tell, see how it's not round. This is somebody learning to be a potter. It's nice. Just not real high resale value. Uh, this is may have lid. This is from frown filter. Frown filter China. Look at that rainbow iridescence in that. Let's see who you are, Fiesta. Okay, guys, is that old Fiesta or new Fiesta? I can never remember uh, on the mark which is which. Oh, see, we got doggies. We got doggies here. <laughs> and I loved these. The last time I was here, I loved these. Then I love them now. Do you see the little um, asymmetric top to these. These are handcrafted, made in Spain. They are that really rich amber color. Just, just a stunning color. Let me move this over a little bit so you can see this set. They are, gosh, I love them. I love them. But they're $10 each. Hmm. 
Nobody knows on the Fiesta? Or are you still looking? Oh. All right, I don't, I don't get up from the floor very well if I stay down there too long. Let's see. Let's see what's on the goodie bin over here. Dichroic glass pendants. Quite a few of them. Oh, this one's interesting. Look at that. It's like a calla lily shape. Let's see what else? Oh, look at this wool coat. Oh, it's a London fog. Oh, that is so cute. Oh. I kind of love that. I do kind of love that. Let's see. It's a large, though. I'm definitely not a large. Oh, that's soft and cute. Old Fiesta didn't come in that color. Ah, okay. There you go. What's this one? Susan Graver Weekend. Size large. That is so so soft. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little black and Klein. That one, that one's my size. That one's my size. Oh, I like, I like that one too. What do you think? That feels warm. Only thing I worry about, are you, I think it's vintage too. Trying to see what it's made of. It is wool. See, here's my concern with getting wool. Okay. This is this is this is the thing about being on live. You get some personal information here. So we have this little issue with um moths because of all of our bird seed. For some reason, they breed in the bird seed. I know it doesn't, I, I don't get it. I don't know. We we end up throwing out a lot of bags of bird seed because the moths get in there and then we're like oh no that's gone so anyway i'm worried that i'll get moths and then they'll eat anything wool <laughs> that i have that's that's there we go see that's i had to tell that story to get to why i'm worried about buying wool let's see if we can find something for mother of the bride nest back here i could wear coats bigger but i don't like i don't like it at the sleeves like flop too long. I, I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird about the feelsy of, of clothing. More. Oh, it's mine. I'm sorry. I just left that just laying anywhere. <laughs> I just left my doctor. I have abandoned my Dr. Pepper. That's cute. Oh, I wore skirts. I'd wear that, but I don't wear skirts. We do. So, okay. So I try to be good about putting it. I put it in the refrigerator and then it only takes like one night. I forget to put it back in the refrigerator. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I know. I know if, if only my brain was organized and did things properly. It is my, it is my weakness. I have a lot, a lot on my plate and I tend to forget things easily, but yeah. So the day that I get better about that and I get rid of the moths, then, then I can do the wool. That's really cute. All right. What have we not looked at yet? You want me to buy clothes? I was like, I'm looking. I do. <laughs> Judy. I know we need to, I know we need to freeze it. I know, I know. The problem is there's no room in the house freezer to put bags of birds. We buy big bags of bird seed and there's just, there's no room in the freezer for that. This is a very cute little Vera. Look how cute that Vera is. Look at that. It's got ducks. Who makes you? 
You are Dooney and Burke with ducks. Of course, because Dooney and Burke has the duck logo. Okay, I get it now. $60. $60 on that one. That's adorable. We do. We're like a little zoo with our little routine. And if something upsets the routine, <laughs> it throws everything out of whack. Like right now, I'm out of the proper kind of food for two of my aquariums that I have to have to go take care of it. I don't know how I feel about this. How do you guys, how do you how do I feel about this? So hold on, let me find a place to put it and stand back. See this? It's got like a ruffly thing, and then the back is open with like and shows the ruffly thing through. I don't. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. <laughs> we have two freezers. <laughs> we have two freezers. Because we stockpile a lot of food. Oh, I like that. Oh, look. Another piece of jewelry. Somebody really knows how to put things together on the mannequins. I got to tell you. Look at those little... Those little... Oh, yeah. Pearls. It's same Not real pearls. Let me see if it's got a name on this necklace because I like it. What do we got? It's got a name, maybe. Um, oh, it's another J. Crew. It's an, well, I'm drawn to the J. Crew. I can see why it's so collectible because. It's fun. All right. I'm going to put that one with my other J. Crew. Um, the mermaid. So let's look at the mermaid dress you were talking about. It's literally, yeah. It's, But it's not. Oh, it is open on the bottom. Oh, should I send a picture of that and tell Jordan? Okay, I found what I'm wearing to your wedding. This is it. This is it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a mermaid. <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful dress in my younger days. I could have worn that one. That one is... Okay, her bridesmaids are wearing black. This isn't black. This is like a plum. Like a deep, deep plum. You see that? Ooh, kind of like it. Look at the shimmer on that. But I feel the safest thing to do is shop with her and let her help pick out the dress that I am going to wear. It's so, it's really fun there. there was, okay. Uh, now I have to, yeah. so, over here. All right. <laughs> I know, Grant knows what he's getting into. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I picked up the J. Cruz. Yep. Oh, I'm going to, yes. I'm going to tease her with it. I'm catching up on your comments, guys. After four, I have to stay here because there's only one person. Thank you, Miss Wildlife. That was a very sweet thing to say. Thank you so much. I'm coming back over here in case we missed anything. If I can. Look at this. What are you? That's all hand-stitched. Look at that. Oh, my. That's kind of incredible, but I'm not exactly sure what it is except just like a wall hanging wow 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 yes she knows what she wants me wearing she she asked me if i was going to get my hair and makeup done i said i don't know am i getting my hair and makeup done <laughs> so yeah so i'm going out there in a few weeks and um, we're going to do a test run with hair and makeup. Because <laughs> I told her I definitely don't want to get my makeup done and then like break out or swell up or have some awful thing happen on the day of the wedding. So we're going to do a test run uh, when I go out there and make sure that the makeup doesn't affect me adversely. Because if you have ever noticed, I wear very little makeup because makeup really doesn't like me. I am like hypersensitive to everything I see a little owl back here i didn't see before look at him 
He's a mater boomy, ethically made in India. Oh, what is he? What does he hold? Business card? I don't know. In the fall. An up I my hair won't stay in an updo. It just won't. Plus, I'm kinda I know, I know it's her day and everything, but I want to be comfortable all day too. So we're gonna have to have a meeting of the minds on all of that. Okay, what haven't I looked at, guys? Got some Frida art. I don't I didn't see how much this was. It's it's pretty incredible. I don't know how much it is. What do you think, guys? Should I get this? Should I find out how much it is? Oh, it was an eyeglass holder. Ah, okay. Uh, the shelf with the Royal Staffordshire on it. The green, possibly looking bowls. Okay, I'll I'll go see if I can go find those again. I'll see if I can find them. Oh, sure, of course. Okay, I got it. Let's see. Let's go find out how much it is, though. We'll see. It is pretty incredible. The workmanship on this. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, over here. Oh, you mean these green bowls? They're just they're just green bowls. BIA. Eighteen dollars for three pieces. I don't think they're anything special. Fiesta. See, there's another fiesta mark. These would have had cups. Those look like newer colors, too. Those don't look like old colors. You know, I don't think I went onto the other side of this. That's what I think I missed. I looked at the shoes, and I didn't look at the other side of this display. You know what? I have a bunch of chimneys. I should bring them some, because I've noticed a couple of their oil lamps don't have chimneys, so I think I'm just going to bring some for them. Those are nice. Okay, Dawn. We'll see you over on your channel. Dawn is going to do a fabulous jewelry auction at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's interesting. It's a little, little chewy. A little chewy. Yeah. Right. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Guys, I think I have looked at just about everything. I'm back here looking because uh, Melissa said there was... Oh, I see the picnic basket you're talking about. Right here. Oh, let me get down here on the ground again. I can't really see it because they've got stuff on top of it, but it's also, it's got a little damage to it. So that would really make it hard for me to resell. Oh, look at that little rock with the, uh, the Hereford, Hereford on it. See, I didn't see the chaps before either. Right. You have to go back through a store a couple times to see everything. You really do. If you go through just once, you're going to miss something. I do that at Goodwills too. I just don't, I don't video the second run through. And then if I find something, I share it with you. Um, but I do kind of do a, a, a run back through because it's really easy to miss things, especially when you're holding a camera. Let's see. It yeah. looks like Balik. It is Balik. Twenty dollars. It is so, so fine, thin, high quality porcelain.
All right. Well, guys, let me see if I can flip my camera back around over here and I will, let me get some place where I'm not in anybody's way. Here we go. Okay, let me figure out my camera here. Boop, boop, boom. Here I am. I think, did I make it? A lot of times I'll hit the wrong button and then I'll like accidentally close the window and then I got nothing. Let's see, here we go. Let me read the chat just a little bit more, guys, before we say goodbye. It's Peruvian. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Excellent. Yeah, and I hope if you guys are local, you will come down and visit Dog Junkies. Tell them the niche lady sent you. Jamie Brandon, I see your comments. They just go really, all the comments go really fast, and I don't always catch them all. But I try, and I go back and read them afterwards as well. Yes. Yes, so thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me this afternoon. We will definitely come back here again. They are very welcoming here to me, and it's nice to be in a friendly place. And uh, we'll we'll try to I don't know I don't know I kind of like this Wednesday time slot for uh for kind of doing a little live thrifting. What do you guys think? You like this time slot as well? Let me know. And if you're watching on the replay and you've made it to this point, let me know if you'd like me to do more of these as well. All right, everyone. With that, we're gonna sign off. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.